Hey, it's Mike from On A New Tack, and we're bringing back our feature of the day, mainly because uh, it's been a long time, we've had requests for it, and we have nothing better to do, because at the moment, we are crossing the Atlantic. And I'll let Sue pan around and show you where we're at, which doesn't really show you a whole lot. We are um, off the coast of um, Namibia. So you can see where we're at, and that is St. Helena, which is where we're heading. Uh, we'll stay there for a couple days. It's supposed to be a really neat place. Um, but we figured no better place to start off with our feature of the day reboot than uh, our Atlantic Crossing series than to uh, start off with Starlink. That's how we're doing this. Um, we're actually recording this on Tuesday the 21st, and I'll try to publish it today. Um, so we'll show you how that's all set up on the boat. Okay, we are on top of the coach roof and this is the helm roof and this is the Starlink high performance RV version, the flat high performance uh, version of the um, antenna. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't have to rotate, it's always uh, supposedly getting the most visibility to satellites. So we started, we just tried it about, I don't know, maybe 100 miles off of, 200 miles off the coast of South Africa and on a whim and it started to work and it was slow, two megabits or so, but now I think we're getting 10 megabits plus. So that's where the antenna's at. Now we'll show you the rest of it. Okay, so now we're in the master cabin, starboard side, and we just closed the uh, door that comes into our cabin. There is this access panel behind here, and this we've made into our network closet. So first I'll show you, there's a bunch of other just stuff stored there for the moment, but if uh, I have Sue come and point upwards, on the underside of this whole area we have a uh, router, that can have multiple inputs. Uh, one of them is a Wi-Fi repeater, the other is Starlink at the moment, and then we have a network switch, and then we have a predict one data hub. So that's basically uh, the network pieces of things. And then if we open the other side of this, there's all the manuals for the boat. We have the actual power supply for the Starlink, and then that cable that comes out of there just goes into the router, um, and it's a it's a uh, Wave Wi-Fi MNC 1250. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, but it's been working great for us. Uh, it allows you to automatically set priority, so um, you can have, uh, there's a cellular mo modem in it, it can use that, it can use Wi-Fi that it picks up from free hotspots, and it can, obviously in this case, use Starlink. When we have access to Starlink, we'll probably just use that most of the time because we're paying for it, and it is very high speed, especially when we're near coastal US. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the Wave Wi-Fi recreates, uh, um, the Wave Wi-Fi router creates a uh, SSIDs that we use internally. So depending, no matter what the internet source is, it always looks the same. So all of our devices are always just connecting to the boat's network. Uh, and then the chart plotters, all that other stuff is connected most, mostly through hardwired ethernet. So a little more reliable. Uh, and that is a very longer version of today's feature of the day. Atlanta Crossing Edition.